Okay guys, so um, what we want to do here today is something a bit different, okay? So we don't want to just do your, your normal standard falcon show. What we want to do is, is take a little walk, which will walk, meander through these sand dunes under the nice, this, these half tree forests. And we want to take Sally for a walk by giving her some exercise, okay, in reward for her food. But at the same time, what we want to do is look and observe and see what else has been going on here last night. Now, you, you may know this, but the desert comes alive at night and we're in such a rich habitat here that we really got a lot of uh, smaller micro insects, scorpions, snakes, and hopefully we see some of those tracks this morning that I can point them out to you and we can sort of learn a little bit more about this wonderful place. Guys, come have a look here. Out in the desert, when you see a track like this, okay, we have basically two options. It's either going to be a dog or a cat, okay? Now, when we talk about dogs, we're talking about foxes, we're talking about wolves, etc. When we talk about cats, we're talking about Gordon's wildcats, leopards, etc. Okay? Now, the main difference between a dog and a cat track is that cats have this incredible, incredible ability to withtrack their, their claws, their talons. Okay, into their paws. Now, when you look down directly at this, straight away you can see that there are some put some marks from the dog's talons. Okay, so then we go to the claws, and you go straight away. This has got to be a dog. Then you can break it down. What dogs do we get here? Okay, it's, this one is obvious. It's a fox. <laughs> Guys, here's a very cool track. Okay, um, I want to show you this. You see this one here? Right, this is actually one, one bigger than a sandfish. This is a monitor lizard, a baby monitor lizard. The thing is with this monitor, it's a meat-eating uh, lizard. It likes to eat baby chicks. It likes to eat uh, anything it, it comes across. You know, little lizard, sandfish. Um, it'll munch all of them. Where the dub lizard, the other one we saw, it's a herbivore and it eats only plants. Mm. These are birds, okay. And probably a gray franklin, which has little ground birds. But this is pretty cool. Guys, if you have a look here. And these eggshells come from the palm dove. These palm, that, the ones that woke us up this morning, you know? And guys, what is interesting about this, I can absolutely 100% guarantee you the nest is not here in this tree. What these palm doves have, and we've watched it, is where a mother palm dove will go down collect the eggs, move them and put them underneath another tree, okay? This is her way of, of pranking or foxing the monitor lizard. Now monitor lizards love to eat eggs, they love to eat baby chicks, and they love, I mean this is their favorite meal. If, if the mother has put these over here, the monitor comes on the scene and goes, oh there must be some eggs up here, there must be some baby chicks up here, and the monitor climbs the tree and doesn't find anything. So it's been quite smart in how it's managed to, to work out. I can take my eggshells and put them under that tree because this is what is attracting the monitor lizard. Somebody else's nest. Somebody else's nest. <laughs> exactly. All right, let's go. 